sunshines! I'm here today to talk to you guys about the book Magic the Crest by Rena Martheler because I just finished it last night and it is pretty exciting. Magic the Crest is essentially a girl power adventure story about four best friends who find out that they have magical powers. The main character girl, Rachel, gets a prophecy and off they go on the adventure of a lifetime. The story is set in the state of Oregon and on the mountain of Mount Hood, but very quickly the book leaves the planet Earth behind and transports us to the universe. These four girls have elemental powers, so things like ice and fire and earth and air are the powers that these girls can call on. Action happens really quickly in this book, which was something that I totally appreciated, and as I was reading it, I was really excited because it was sort of like a trip down memory lane, nostalgia of the way that I used to write when I was Rena's age, and that was really exciting. I found myself laughing at some of the situations that the characters got themselves into, and I felt myself really feeling like one of them in situations where they would stop and all they would want to eat was pizza. Rena does a really great job about setting the scene and introducing us to all kinds of different magical creatures and magical realms. There are shout outs to Greek mythology which is really exciting, a shout out to Percy Jackson specifically because from what I know Rena is a really big Percy Jackson fan and who can blame her. The girls encounter all kinds of random crazy adventures along the way, journeying up Mount Hood getting pizza delivered to the side of the mountain, checking into a hotel room all by themselves, encountering dragons and other mythical, mysterious beasts and creatures, and even Medusa's sister. These girls are strong characters who really know themselves and just take on the world in a really cool girl power kind of way. Time passes super quickly and the action happens at a very fast pace, so I found myself at times having difficulty keeping up, things were happening so fast. There were also cute little moments where Rena would break the fourth wall, as it were, to use a theater term, and actually start to talk to the audience and either give advice or remind us of something that maybe we had forgotten about or give us survival tips. There were cool flashbacks and cool little ways that she broke that fourth wall and communicated with the audience in a really funny and unique way. I love that about kid authors. I remember being the same way myself, just not afraid to just tell it like it is, write it like you feel it, and I really enjoyed that about this book. I totally recommend Raina's book to kids of all ages and adult kids too who might just want to remember a little bit what it was like to maybe have that crazy, awesome, overactive imagination like Rena does, or maybe just want to see the cool things that kids are creating these days with the technology and resources and parents at their disposal to help them do so. If you are a kid in my audience and you're watching along, I know you will definitely enjoy this book. Rena is actually running a Kickstarter right now for the sequel to Magic the Crest and is currently 200% funded. Her goal was $1,000 and she's at $2,000 and some odd change right now. The money from the Kickstarter will be going toward publishing costs of the sequel, printing costs of the sequel, and also being able to print enough books that she can donate a huge portion of the books that she gets printed to local schools and libraries, which I think is super cool. Right now there are a couple of ways that you can get Rena's book if you're interested. One is if you live in the Portland, Oregon area, her book is currently stocked at Powell's Books. You can also find Rena's book on the Amazon bookstore in paperback format for $9 or the Kindle format for $3.25. Magic the Crest is a super easy read. It's 120 pages, seven chapters of non-stop exciting adventure, and I really enjoyed every minute of it. So in the spirit of Reading Rainbow having fully been funded on Kickstarter as well, I encourage you guys all to go and check out Rena's book. Check it out because it is not only just a really fun summer read, but it also represents so much more than that. It represents the creativity of a child's mind and the passion for the arts that kids today still have, and reading, and for writing, and for creating things, and we need to foster that as much as possible. And Rena and her mom are such sweethearts. Thank you guys so much for talking to me through email, and I hopefully will get to meet you guys very soon. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!